Good morning, everybody, and happy Monday, and happy MLK Day. And today is the start of week three of Raise the Bar here at Burn Boot Camp. And today in Corvallis, Oregon, at our Burn Boot Camp location, we had core conditioning today. And I would like to say that it was actually more on the conditioning side than on the core side. So for today, we had a whiteboard that we went through. It was four different stations that we were all kind of split up into. And it was a go at your own pace. You had, there were definitely some core moves, but there was a lot of bouncing around as far as different plyometrics and conditioning moves. So I really had to step it out today. And it was just a, it was an okay day. I definitely pushed myself. We had to do 75 donkey kicks and that took me a little while to get through. <laughs> and believe you me that I did not do them the full donkey kick because I think I've attempted one or two of them. My, my legs do not go up as high as they probably should. So I kind of stepped that one out where I just have one foot flail in the back and then I step that one down and then have the other foot. <laughs> flail in the back so that was that I was definitely sweating a lot profusely especially by the end and it was kind of nice because they had us do the double unders <laughs> and people are watching me as I am filming this right now so they had us do the double unders a hundred of them and or do 200 single under so it was kind of nice that they had us testing out or at least kind of practicing one of the moves which is in fact double unders so that was a nice little um thing that they had us practicing at least it felt like they were having us practice i don't know maybe that was intentional maybe that wasn't maybe i'm just going on and on and on about nothing but anyways what we had today for our challenge was burpees and again let me quickly remind you that we get two minutes to do these we did them at the beginning of class again and i do them against the clock i don't go until stopping because i kind of do all the mod downs with them anyways so i go a little bit slower but getting to the point is that i did 24. I did 24 burpees today within two minutes. So that was an increase of three from 21 to 24. So I am proud of myself. I didn't know if I was going to get there. Honestly, I was, I was at about 16 and I thought I was going to just give out flat on the floor, even though it was the beginning class. But anyways, that is the score for today. How did you do on your burpees? Were you able to do any modifications up from your previous burpees? Did you do better? How many did, more did you get from your burpees? Let me know how you did in the comments below. Other than that, we will see you for Tuesday. I do believe I'm taking Wednesday off because it's a lower body day. And my knee, I was icing it and heating it religiously yesterday and it still is feeling kind of tight. So I just want to give it the break that it deserves. Even though I am taking the day off, I'll probably still be doing the jump squats anyways on my own time. And I will update you on that. Other than that, have a happy Monday and have a happy rest of your day and we will see you guys tomorrow for Tuesday. Bye! Good morning everybody. Today was a, well today's Tuesday, let's start off with that, of week three of Raise the Bar here at Burden Boot Camp and today we did a upper body or partner upper body strength I believe is what it was because they definitely worked our arms in our entirety today. And today we had uh, a different trainer that he likes to make his special guest appearances every once in a while. And I really enjoy having him as a trainer. Uh, his name is Alan. He's one of the um, co-owners of the burn boot camps in the area. And I think he's a really great trainer at first. I didn't like him because I thought he was slow. So but then my opinion has evolved and changed since then because he really pays attention to your form, makes sure that you're doing things correctly, and somehow pays attention to everybody all at the same time. And so props to him. Love Alan. It was great. He really pushed me today in one of the stations where we had the chest press on the TerraCore. And the TerraCore is meant there meant for you to lay on so that way you're also engaging your core at the same time as you're doing your chest press and we had to do 10 reps and it was partnered and so you had to do 10 reps of the of the chest press and then you switched out for like a med ball where you push it put it up and then put it to your side and then put it down i'm terrible at explaining these things but anyways the first time that i did the chest press i started out with the 20 pounders 
on each side. And I was like, you know what? That's, that's probably too easy. I should really push myself. And so for the second time I did the 25 pounders. And by the time I hit like rep four, I was pretty much done and somehow got to 10 reps. And then when I was heading back to the Terracore chest press for the third time, Alan came over, saw me do two reps of the 25s. He's like, no, 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 here are the 30s. Here you go. You're welcome. Have a good day. <laughs> and so he helped me. He helped guide me through the last eight reps that I had to do with 30 pounders, which is insane. That means I was just pressing 60 pounds. Oh my gosh. My, my triceps also from the first station where you had to hold, you had to do a low tricep hold. That was killer. I, but however, I finally found my spot, even though it kind of looked like I was laying on the ground. I swear to you, there was an inch between like my chest and my upper body between the ground. I finally found my spot where I can hold it versus if you hold it just a little bit too high. I'm like, Ooh, that's a little too shaky. So I actually like held it, like held it, held it. And so I was really proud of that. And also to add to the awesomest awesomeness of today was that not only was Alan the trainer, but I was partners with Jade, who's one of the trainers here at Burn Boot Camp as well. And she's been doing a lot of the morning classes so far. So it was really good to work out with you, Jade. That was awesome. I felt like we really pushed each other. And then at least you pushed me <laughs> to be a lot better. And then you just brought the energy. And so thank you for being an awesome partner. And it was just a really good workout. I'm just like, I'm just thinking about it right now. I was like, wow, that was a really solid workout if that's the way it was every single day not that it's not good the other days but i really liked it and then today the challenge was push-ups and so the push-up challenge was at right after your warm-up and i did it for my knees still modified and today i got 37 37 push-ups up from 30 from last week sorry i think my pre-workout's still in me so i'm just like Whoa, I have like energy right now. I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped from being able to do the 30 pounders. Like, I feel like, yes, wait. I know I'm also kind of all over the place right now, but I'm just like still coming down from the high of that workout. Oh, it was such a good workout. I really felt like I was pushing myself. There were good weights. And though that's just the environment that I like was today. It was really good. It was it was the trainer, it was the workout, it was the partner, it was the different stations. They were they were all excellent and top notch. And so that was Tuesday. I can guarantee you tomorrow I'm gonna come in saying my triceps are killing me because they already are killing me. What is this in the back? Oh my gosh, it feels like it's like on fire back there right now. And then those 30 pound chest pressers, man. <laughs> anyways let me know how you did on your push-ups did you do them from your toes did you do them from your knees did you try some from your toes and then do the rest on your knees i really should start working towards doing them on my toes at least the first couple of them and then pressing out the rest from my knees but yeah tell me how you did how was your partner was he or she as awesome as my partner jade probably not but that's okay anyways go check out at whole kg katie's instagram and then also go check out today burn exton the at burn exton because katie is taking over burn exton's instagram stories today and she's going to kind of go through her whole day which i'm really excited about her for her about that she's going to go through her whole day how she lives life on the go how she finds healthy snacks everywhere how her workout was talking to other people about joining burn it's going to be awesome and so we're going to wrap this video up have yourself a great Tuesday. We'll see you guys tomorrow for jump squats. I'm not sure if I'm going to go to tomorrow's camp yet. My knee is feeling better, but tomorrow is a lower body day. And so I'm still, I'm still contemplating. I, you will see in tomorrow's video whether I've done it or not. So that's, that's about that. Okay. Again, we're going to wrap this up for the third time here, but have yourself a happy Tuesday and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. Sandy says good morning too. She's not very happy to be up here and she is looking for any and every way to escape right now. Watch. She's like, nope, I'm done. Oh no, she's going to stay along. Okay. She's just going to be a sausage in my lap. That's what I like to call her. 
Anyways, good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday and it's week three of Raise the Bar. And as mentioned in yesterday's IGTV video, is that I am not going to the leg day today because my right knee still doesn't feel 100% or feel like it's drastically improved from last week. And here she goes. Told you, she has this tension span of a two-year-old. Anyways, so took a rest day today and I'm not sure, maybe later I will attempt some jump squats, but <clears throat> this is going to be mostly a post about weight and weigh in right now. So if you don't want to know my weight, if you have no, uh, if you, if you're triggered by people's weights, please exit off of this, um, post. But yeah, so I weighed in today and here are my results. This is a video log of my, um, of my weigh in. So I now weigh 208.6 pounds and I increased by 0.6 pounds. I also have not had my coffee this morning or pre-workout or anything along those lines. So that's why you're getting very low key gear right now. But anyways, so I'm 208.6, I increased by 0.6 pounds and that's just what it is. That's just what it is. I know exactly where that came from. Um, I did not eat well this past weekend and yesterday we got some good news from Sean's work uh, and we just went out to celebrate dinner. I did have a salad. I had a steak salad. We had some fried calamari and some french fries. Huge portions. Ate until sa satiation, but I know that those carbohydrates are probably and more than likely the thing that's killing me right now. So I, I, was, I was pretty mad at the number this morning. I'm looking at it right now because I'm like, dead. <laughs> like ah it's I've been hovering I've been hovering around this number for you know now another week in a row and it's really frustrating but I know <clears throat> it, based on my inches that I am losing you know inches as far as getting smaller and more toned but then also yesterday was a very heavy lifting day I challenged myself I, my entire upper body right now is killing me, like asking me. That's why my hair is not blow dried. I know I saw a bunch of posts yesterday about people not blowing drying their hair after arm days. That's why it's not blow dried right now because lifting it this high is near impossible right now. So it's like when you are breaking down those muscle fibers, I'm pretty sure some a trainer from one of the burn boot camps, I don't think it was the Corvallis location, did mention, and I want to reemphasize, when you do break down muscles, you are creating micro tears in your muscle fibers, which then, in order to repair said muscle tears, water needs to come in. And I can guarantee you, there is a lot of water happening right here. And then also, probably TMI yet again, but like women just fluctuate weight like crazy all based around their period and their ovulation schedules. And so this is one of those times and there you have it. Um, I know it sounds like I'm making up excuses right now for why the weight is the way it is. That is not the case at all. I know exactly where that 0.6, I contributed to that 0.6 pounds. It's that I ate two and a half cinnamon rolls on Sunday. Uh, what else did we eat? We had pancakes on Sunday as well. We were really hungry on Sunday. I had popcorn on Sunday. I know exactly where it came from. Uh, I had indulgences. It's not that I'm trying to not fess up to them, but they happened and it clearly showed in your number, your, your scale number doesn't lie. And so those are my thoughts for right now. I've definitely been tracking on my fitness pal, but again, just kind of tracking and kind of looking at it at the end of the day saying, oh, wow, I hit about 100 grams of protein, which is 50 grams under what I want to be. I have been I added in like a high protein um, milk into my protein shakes. And so that increased my protein intake. So I am trying and I'm eating like hard boiled eggs. I am trying to find like protein and increasing that to replace any sort of carbohydrates that I eat during the week. I don't, I try not to snack on things as far as like heavy carb loading. I normally have nuts for a snack or tuna and it's a matter of actually probably reeling in the weekends and really making sure that I keep my indulgences to a minimum, more in a controlled sense, but not in like a, you know, a restrictive sense. 
So there's subtle variances in those words. And so, yeah, it's, it's a matter of, like, I want to make sure I'm being perfectly clear that I did not want to tell you guys this number this morning. Every time it goes up, I struggle to get on camera and to film it, to take a photograph, to write a post with it. It's, it's really difficult, but I think it's super important because I can guarantee you so many other women are going through this right now and they need to see that somebody else is also gaining weight while they're trying to lose weight. And so it's a matter of trying to be as honest with you, with you, with you guys, with you ladies as possible, that this is not easy. I mean, how, like I, right now I just have such a defeatist mindset and it's like, God, it's been five months. I've lost 10.2 pounds. What am I doing wrong? It's, it's that the number on the scale, even though I do try to come back to the positives, there's always a bunch of underlying negatives in there. And it's really hard to take focus off of those negatives and to put it on, well, you're clearly gaining muscle. Your, your waist is getting smaller and smaller by the week. You're that you're feeling stronger than ever. And so it's a matter of when it does become hard and when you do get pissed off at that number that you see on the scale, it's that you really got to try to reel yourself back to those positives. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. But I'm struggling really hard because you've seen for the fourth week in a row <laughs> that I'm hovering around 208. And it's, it's really hard when you're also trying to do it in such a public way as well where it's like well clearly she's not doing things right at least this is what I have in my mind I'm telling you what's going on in my mind right now so it's like well clearly she's not doing things right because she's hovering around the same weight slash gaining weight every single week and it's not a pretty number and why like maybe I shouldn't follow her because she's not doing things she's probably not doing things correctly and so these are all these things there's there's an enormous amount of pressure not only coming from myself but also from making sure I'm being consistent in posting. But I want to be clear that I post nothing but the truth. And the truth is right now, this sucks. <sighs> but you gotta come back to your goals. You gotta come back to the reasons why. You gotta come back to your non-scale victories. Uh, just that I'm increasing all of those challenge days. Like I did, what, 37, 38 push-ups yesterday from my knees? Who does that? It clearly means that I need to level up and start going on my toes. And so this post has gotten a lot longer than it ever should be. But this is just kind of my stream of consciousness today. I, if I do do the jump squats later today, I will post them in my Insta stories. How does that sound? Anyways, we're going to get on with our day. We're going to start our day. And you have a good Wednesday. Let me know how leg day went. Let me know how your jump, squ jump squats went. Um, yeah. That's just the way it is. I need coffee. I need some serious caffeine, like a double shot of espresso right now. <laughs> Something. <laughs> I hope that that wasn't too terrible to get through. Anyways, we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good Wednesday. Bye. Hey, everyone. Just giving you a quick update from today. Um, I did just get home working on making dinner right now. However, I don't, I got into my pajamas, like my pajamas, my pajama bottoms, and just to be completely honest, I do not feel like getting on workout clothes right now to getting on my shoes and then going to do some jump squats. So we're going to save those for next week. I hope I didn't leave you guys in too much of a, ooh, you know, it's just a brain fart, What, whatever the word, suspense. I hope I didn't leave in suspense. So anyways, just letting you know, just putting it out there. I did not do my jump squats. We'll save it for next week. But showing up to camp tomorrow. Have a great evening, guys. It is Thursday morning, everybody. And today we did a burst and conditioning combo here at Burn Boot Camp of week three of Raise the Bar. And it was a challenging workout to say the least. Believe it or not, I was covered in sweat. I've had about five to ten minutes to cool down and compose myself in order to make this. And even like it was so bad that I was after the workout, we did a little bit of stretching 
for like five minutes. And then after Shannon was done stretching us, I just laid on the floor because I was like, there's no way I'm getting up after this. <laughs> it was a very challenging moving all around kind of camp. And today's camp was, uh, we had six stations and you did them for um, a minute and then you did a another move for 30 seconds and then a minute and then then a move for 30 seconds and then a minute again and then you rotated station so you did it for three three times for one minute and it was six stations like i had just said let's get on with our thoughts kira is that it was also jump ropes today and i the jump rope gods looked down on me today and they were like you are gonna dominate this because I got a really good jump rope. A lot of the times I feel like it's jump rope dependent in there. And man, I got on a groove. Remember last week, what, how many did I get last week? I got 86 last week. And remember me saying, I was like, there is no way I'm gonna top that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there is no effing way I'm gonna top what I just did again. I, I beat that by more than double. Like what the, what the <laughs> Look at how much you got. 193. 103. I almost got 200. That was insane. I got to like 110 and was like, okay, I wouldn't be so mad if it just, you know, gave out on me. It just kept going. I don't, there was, there was a rhythm there. There was the right jump rope with like two knots in it is what I need. And it was a really good jump rope. And we just kept going. Honestly, that I'm I'm speechless for I don't know how I got that, but somehow I did. And there's probably no way I'm gonna top that. If I get to 200, then I'm set. I'm I'm closing up shop, and we're saying we're good. <laughs> that's pretty much how that's gonna go. Oh man! And then I was watching some ladies practice their double unders and getting. So I was just trying to like look at their technique and how they do it. They get up so high on each one of those jumps and I'm like, oh my goodness, how am I going to get up that high? I have no idea. Sorry, I'm looking back at burn right now because I'm like, oh man, I got to start attempting double unders. I feel like I'm at the point where you're like, I can do 193 in a row. You need to start challenging yourself a little bit more. <laughs> but the funny thing is, is that again, oh, and then I forgot to say this, is that that was my second station of six. So I was still kind of in the groove of things and wasn't like exhausted. And so I got the 193 on my first go. And then on the other subsequent minutes that we had to do it, I was getting like 40, I think the last time I got up to like 80, 80 something. So it was clearly a fluke of nature. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to, I'm still, I was just laughing when I got it because it's like, there's no way, there's, there's no way. But anyways, my thoughts have been all over the place right now. It was a really good workout. Um, we used the TerraCore for our, they're not called power planks, where you, where you go back, where you're kind of in a, in a plank, but, and then you jump back and jump forward. That was really nice because the TerraCore kept you, you at a little bit more of an incline than what you would do if you were in a high plank. And I was really able to focus on making sure I was consistently, instead of stepping back and then jumping forward, I was doing the jump back and jump forward. Because I think even Katie mentioned this at one point where it's like at the at whole KG, Katie and Burn Exton, is that she likes to step back and then jump forward. And I do the same thing. Why do people do that? And so I was able to balance myself on the TerraCore and then really focus on making sure I was jumping back and forward to the same spot instead of stepping it out and stepping it back, back forward. And so that was really good to be able to practice that. There was another move in there where we used the battle ropes, which pro battle ropes is that we, sorry, I'm looking back at them again, not that you guys can see them. <laughs> is that you did two slams and then you're supposed to roll backwards and then roll back up onto your feet and then do two more slams honey i tried that thank you very much shannon for thinking that we can all do that but some of us just can't <laughs> and so i tried it for a minute straight and i think i got four of them because i had to keep on like i'd roll back forward and then wouldn't be able to just with the momentum bring myself back up onto my feet again so i'd have to you know hunch forward get up onto my um, arms and then like kind of just hobble myself up and so I figured that took too much time sometimes if it, there's just a move where I can't find a good modification 
I make up my own modification and normally the trainers just kind of leave me alone because I feel like it's at a good level. So for that modification, I did two battle rope slams and then I went down and did two push-ups and then would go up, do two battle rope slams and then go down and do two push-ups. And that's the way it is. So yeah, I think if you're, if, if you know how to challenge yourself and you can find a move that you just, I just flat out couldn't do the rolling back and rolling forward. I don't, whoever did that, high five to you. Anyways, this is getting long enough. How did you guys do on your jump ropes? How were your double unders? Do you have any tips for double unders? Please leave them in the comments below because I need to start watching YouTube videos. I need to start reading about how to do these things. And just, I heard it's a mental game. I've heard it's all in your head and you just got to go for it. <laughs> I'm one of the worst people when it comes to getting in your head. That's just what I do. Anyways, we're in a goofy mood. We're going to get our Thursday started. I am so excited. It is almost the weekend. How about you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. We will talk to you guys later and have a happy rest of your Thursday. Happy Friday, everybody. It's finally Friday. I'm so excited. Anyways, we're coming to you after I just attended the 7 a.m. camp here at Burn Boot Camp for the Raise the Bar six week challenge. We're like almost done with week three, which means we're pretty much halfway through, right? That's still, that still amazes me. But anyways, today's theme was full body strength. And what it was is that you were split up into partners and then there were seven stations. And at each station you were split up in between the two moves. And then one person did the rotating move for 10 reps and then you guys switched. And you did that twice and then you moved on to the next station so it was kind of self-paced there was no timing involved and the one where you weren't doing the reps it was a hold like it was a low plank hold it was a v up hold it was a like those pyramid holds it was one where you had to have one hand and then the opposite leg up but still in a high plank there were there were crazy hold moves that I was not a fan of or like a holding a um, squat. And so there were, there were a bunch of hold moves that, man, those are challenging. Those are very challenging where you're just like, oh, it's, it's a mental game after that. And so, yeah, it was a great workout. We had pull-ups today and pull-ups today. And I somehow managed to squeak out five, five with the black. And that fifth one was a real challenge. And I only attempted that once. Yeah, I only attempted that once because that was one of our stations. And then the second time I went to the pull-ups, I think I did four. And then I did six negatives. Like when you go up and then you like let go really slowly. So I did six negatives. And I tried to do them as slow as possible. And again, I did it with the black resistance band. And yeah it was just a really good camp today i got into it because we went after we got done with the um pull-ups moved on to the next station i was at a station where i was doing the v v up hold and i'd known that i talked to crystal about this before is that we're talking about how many unassisted pull-ups she can do because she is freaking bad and she can do so many of them. I don't even remember how many she could do, but I was watching her as I was doing my V-ups and I could see her go down and up, down and up. And then I could see on those last ones that she was, she had to dig deep down. And I saw you dig deep down, Crystal. And then I started yelling at her. I was like, go, go, like just to try to give her that, you know, energy and that oomph to get through. And hopefully I helped to contribute to at least one more of those pull-ups. But man, that is seriously impressive, Crystal. I think she can whip out like at least 10 of them, no problem. And so it's just really awesome to see women who are able to do that and to be able to know that it's possible and to, by like seeing it yourself. And so it's just super encouraging and yeah, just positive vibes all around today. It was a very challenging and sweaty. Somehow it was sweaty. It's a very sweaty exercises today. But anyways, Let's wrap this up and let you know that I'm going to be attending the Saturday free camp. We're get, we have a free open to the public camp here in Burn Boot, in Burn Boot Camp in Corvallis <laughs> at our Burn Boot Camp location. I'm just stumbling over my words again. And Sean will be going and my friend Brienne will be going. 
and we are going to be going to the 9 a.m camp and so if you want to come see us we will be there with everybody else because a lot of people also like to go to the 9 a.m camp and so we will see you guys there other than that have a great rest of your friday and we will talk to you guys tomorrow Woo! yeah <laughs> okay bye <laughs>
and they had oh, to yeah. jump rope while like skipping. I couldn't do it. I just jumped. I was oh, like, how see, did I just they... did high. I just did high knees without the jump rope because oh. I am not coordinated enough. Yeah, I saw my whole team was doing it. I was like, <laughs> wow. How do you like? I didn't have I the tried. coordination. Like I, I thought tried. I was coordinated. I'm not coordinated. Yeah. So I was just jumping. Oh gosh. I yeah. had I had Rocky no. going through my mind. Oh. <laughs> no, I was just doing the high knees the whole time. That was good. But other than that, did you have any final thoughts, Jeff? I like the playlist oh, today. The music. Oh yeah, the music it was, was good. good music. It was good music. It was the same music as what we were yeah, listening, we were to, listening on the way. to. Yeah, there was and an Ed Sheeran song that came on. I was like, all right, we listened to this. Yeah, and there was another one. Like, the Beaver song came on. Yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. great we're, playlist, we're so, Dana. We're so cool. We listened to Beaver. Oh yeah, we had the Beaver song. What's wrong with Ed Sheeran? You know, you know what's funny though. We like I used to hate Beaver, and I secretly like caused a fight. We're way getting off topic. This is about burn. Shoot. Edits. <laughs> this is gonna be edited before it gets posted on YouTube, but here on IGTV we can swear all we want. Just don't say it ever again. <laughs> okay. Anyways, we're gonna wrap up this hot. This is of IGTV. Dana was great. First time I've had her. Mm -hmm. It was great. Um, was pretty strange. pretty good sized class, but not <laughs> like too big. I thought it was I thought it was perfect. Good for nine a.m. Yeah. It was nice it was seeing free. the kids at the end. Yeah. It was it was a free camp open to the public. That's why Sean could go. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna wrap this up. Otherwise, yeah. have a great Saturday. Tell me how your cardio Tabata went. How many seconds on? How many seconds off? I know a lot of burns do various variations because it's all trainer dependent. Well, too. Also, the nutrition side. Like, I'm still curious about like, do people eat before they go or do they not? Yeah. And is it helpful or what do they do or what do they eat? Because I, so I found today I had an RX bar and that seemed to help, but is yeah. there something better that people do or, or yeah. not? I don't know. Leave your comments. And pull up. No. Other than that, have a great happy Saturday. It is sunny here, so we're definitely going to go to a park and we're going to go walk and we're going to soak up that vitamin D because it has not been sunny here. This year. This year, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. Okay, this has gone on long enough. Let's say goodbye. Okay. Bye. Bye.